once we've completed the uh, the install, we can um, do our configuration. So first thing is, I made a note of the password that I used for Linux. You can see it right here, or for my uh, for LDAP. So when I ran that LDAP install, I uh, just have a little thing I'm using for notes in Notepad++. Um, so I'm gonna have to reference that in a little bit. So I make sure I have that password. I'm gonna run the command to configure slapd. Uh, you'll find this uh, this command works for other packages as well. It's a common command, but this will launch a utility for configuring slapd. Uh, so some of the options you'll have to answer here. So to omit open LDAP server configuration, you're gonna say no. For the domain name, it's just gonna automatically detect this from the host name that we already set. Uh, if you didn't set the host name, you might have to set this domain name to something that makes sense. Um, but this is grabbing from the host name. So my domain name is going to be learnlinux.local. For the organization name, it doesn't have to be uh, whatever's in here. I'm just going to make mine and I'll capitalize it so it semantically looks a little better. Um, so just give your organization a name. Now we have to put in that same admin password uh, that, we, that, we, that you saw in my notepad++. And again, I, I'm using my password. You may have used a different password. Just make sure you use the correct password. Do you want the database to remove when SlapD is purged? This, you're gonna answer no. And move old databases, you're gonna answer yes. And that should run. So now we have SlapD installed and we just have to restart it. So we're gonna use systemctl to do that. And that should have restarted the service and we're ready to move on.